We've been growing winter wheat for, I think this will be our ninth crop that we harvest this year. Uh, we, we got into the winter wheat, just thought it was it would add to the crop rotation. The, it looked like the financial rewards were, were there. Uh, just adds a bit of diversity to our cropping systems, a number of reasons. Once people get into growing winter wheat, they'd be surprised at the potential, the, the rewards are there for growing winter wheat. With our equipment we're running, we try to maximize the, uh, I don't know if you'd say the efficiency, but we try to keep it moving as much as possible. So we're able to cover more acres with our one seeder by, by using it in the fall time. It is a little bit more of a challenge to seed during harvest, but we've worked around that. We seem to be able to, to find enough labor to make that happen. Uh, other reasons it, it works for us is it, it provides a, a herbicide rotation. Most years we're not spraying for wild oats in our winter wheat crop. Uh, so that is a, a big benefit trying to prolong or putting off the resistance uh, issues that might be coming down the road. With the higher commodity prices, the returns, you could pencil a good return on any crop, you know, in the last few years. but. What I had in the back of my mind, at least if I plant the winter wheat, I've got something in the field growing. If we run into a wet spring where it's a challenging uh, time for seeding, at least the winter wheat is there growing. I'll have something growing. So that, uh, that in itself, it, it made it a lower risk crop to me it, with the alternative being having nothing. So to be, that, that made it a, makes winter wheat a lower risk crop in my mind. When we started treating the winter wheat like a high value crop, we noticed improved yields and uh, we were able to, to capture uh, much, much better returns. We put on the nitrogen, we'll shoot for um, 80 bushel crop is a, would, would be nice, but I think we can get even more than that. So we're, we're gonna fertilize for 80 to 100 bushels an acre and there's potential with some of these varieties to probably do much better than that or, or better than that anyways. Um, and the, the fungicide is a big deal too. I think that coupled with the nitrogen can pay uh, big returns. The, the money is there growing the winter wheat. So I think with that as a lead in to, to getting the door open for winter wheat, once you, once you get started, I think further on down the rotation, as you start to see some of these other benefits of having it there, uh, that will, will seal the deal on keeping winter wheat in a rotation.